Lesson 4. Distinguishing the GCD and the LCM. You may find the GCD and the LCM a little confusing at first. Let's look at both of these concepts to help you keep them clear. Remember that the GCD is the greatest common divisor. For example, the GCD of 4 and 6 is 2 because 2 is the greatest number that's a factor of both 4 and 6. In contrast, the LCM is the least common multiple. The LCM of 4 and 6 is 12, because 12 is the smallest number that's a multiple of both 4 and 6. As another example, the GCD of 6 and 9 is 3 because 3 is the greatest number that's a factor of both 6 and 9. And the LCM of 6 and 9 is 18, because 18 is the smallest number that's a multiple of both numbers. Here's one final example. What is the GCD of 5 and 10? The answer is 5, because 5 is a factor of 10. So it's the greatest common divisor of 5 and 10. Now, can you find the LCM of 5 and 10? It's 10, because 10 is the smallest number that's a multiple of both numbers. Notice that the GCD of two numbers is always less than or equal to the lower number, while the LCM is always greater than or equal to the greater number.